This is DC's cultural event of the year and the stars are here to prove it. A night of glitz, glamour and high energy entertainment. It's just been a memorable occasion and, and really in every way. A tribute for the 2013 Kennedy Center honorees. <laughs> Celebrating high achievement in the arts. I feel very, you know, honored to be here because I really love Santana's music. He drove Latin rhythms right into the heart of blues and rock. Legendary guitarist Carlos Santana has come a long way from playing violin on the street for spare change. I'm in seventh heaven and I, I am so grateful. Thank you so much. In keeping with the Kennedy Center's 36-year tradition, performers are kept top secret until they take the stage. Santana's idol, Buddy Guy, brought down the house. As a child, Harlem-born soprano Martina Arroyo imitated singers outside an opera workshop and went on to be a star. Another essential quality you need to be a true diva is heart. I just held my breath the whole time. I was so moved and... Truly, I, I don't want to stop crying again. It was wonderful. TV host Bill O'Reilly. I know, I'm surprised too. Teamed up with rapper Snoop Dogg, who had everyone grooving for jazz great Herbie Hancock. Come on, y'all. Let me hear you say ho. Herbie Hancock is somebody that I looked up to as a, uh, as a kid and as an uh, entertainer. You get the feeling this is the country thanking you. And it's not something I can compare with any any other kind of award show. First, you're another true blue tramp. Then someone's mother. Then your camp. And high praise for Shirley MacLaine. From She's entertained us all for decades. She's got an amazing body of work. Highlighting a career that spanned decades with dazzling performances for the Oscar-winning actress. To have all those cultures represented with Broadway Fosse, I love the show. The grand finale, the piano man himself. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Grammy winner, piano player, singer, songwriter Billy Joel has sold more than 150 million albums. I'm still at a loss for words. I, I, I never expected uh, the people who were there to be doing this. And all the Vietnam vets showing up, that was, whew, was a moment. The show airs this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern on CBS. At the Kennedy Center in Washington, I'm Tara Mergener.